Turning now to the holiday travel rush, here's a live look at the traffic outside Reagan National Airport here in D.C. as travelers make a last-minute dash out of town ahead of Thanksgiving. For drivers, AAA expects today will be the busiest day of the week. Here's CBS's Chris Van Cleve. The Thanksgiving travel rush slows to a last-minute crawl. Brake lights stretched for miles in Los Angeles last night as many of the nearly 49 million Americans expected to drive this year hit the road coast to coast. My number one priority is skipping traffic. Emily and Andrew Quay with little Cameron and Penny the Golden Retriever left Brooklyn midday heading for Washington. Were you worried the drive was going to be apocalyptic? Yes, or? very worried. Worried with a baby and a dog. Um, so far, both have napped halfway through. We're hoping the second half of the leg goes smoothly. Gas prices plunged 13 cents in the last week, but at about 360 a gallon nationally, they are the highest ever for a Thanksgiving weekend. We've been making our way from New York to Washington, D.C. We're just north of Wilmington, Delaware now, and starting to really see the traffic building both north and southbound. Nationwide, police have stepped up patrols. Thanksgiving is typically one of the deadliest weekends on the roads. The biggest thing we're looking for is obviously distracted driving. Airports remained packed at pre-pandemic levels. The more than 9 million passing through TSA checkpoints so far this week have benefited from excellent travel weather and few issues. Amtrak expects this will be its busiest week of the year on the rails. Flights were kind of outrageous, so this was definitely more cost-effective than flying at this point. Thousands opted not to drive or fly. Instead, boarding the newest Carnival cruise ship, the celebration for a sold-out six-day Caribbean holiday. Carnival stocked its ships with 36,000 pounds of turkey. Nothing more thankful than being on a Carnival ship uh, and having a great time. And the family doesn't care. <laughs> And your best bet for some smooth sailing on the roads now, either tomorrow morning, Saturday afternoon, or early Sunday morning. But check the forecast because there may be rain in it. Jerika, I'm happy to tell you we have finally made it back to Washington, D.C. tonight. Safe and sound. Chris Van Cleve, thank you.